Good morning, everyone. Um, today is Saturday. I decided that I wanted to vlog today and share you guys, share with you guys what I'm doing for the day. So um, I just came back from the grocery store and I decided that I wanted to make um, banana bread and some pancakes this morning. So I'll share with you guys what I just bought. Um, it's a small little haul, but let me just show you really quick and then I will show you guys how I make my pancakes as well. Okay, so this might be a little bit of a weird angle just cause my tripod is kind of short and I couldn't find anything to put you guys on. So let me just show you really quickly what I bought. So first I bought some flour, obviously. I'm gonna make banana bread and pancakes, so I need this. And then I bought some imperial butter and i'm keeping these all out as well because we need everything to be room temperature when we make the banana bread um i bought some evaporated milk because if you're filipino or you've ever had filipino pancakes then you know that the way that we have pancakes is with butter milk and sugar so that's why i have that and then i also bought some baking powder, baking soda, and brown sugar because we didn't have any of that. And I bought some buttermilk because I'll need this for the banana bread and the pancakes as well. And just a few more things. I bought some imitation vanilla extract because I didn't know that vanilla extract was like expensive. Did you guys know that? I don't know. So I got this one. This one was like four bucks. And some syrup. I bought some turkey bacon and some cooking spray so I could spray the pan when I cook my pancakes. But let me show you guys how I make my pancakes. Um, it's not my recipe. <laughs> I found it online, but it's the best one that I've found and I've been making it for a few years now but I'll share with you guys how I make it and then I'll link down below the recipe as well. All right, you guys, so let's get started. Um, I have everything laid out here and then I'll go through the recipe with you guys, but I have the recipe pulled up on my phone right now. I will be linking it down below so you guys can um, try this out if you want. There's two cups of flour, so I'll put a cup and a half. So I just moved you guys, just so you guys have a better view. Um, but I just, oh, that's what I was meaning to do. I have to put the baking powder. So it calls for two teaspoons. I'll put a teaspoon and a half. Teaspoon. And a half of baking powder. Three fourths of a teaspoon of baking soda. a dash of salt should be good one and a half tablespoons of sugar one. and a half okay so <laughs> let me try doing a half Okay, that looks like one egg, and then half of this one. All right, not so bad, not so bad. <laughs> this is my leftover egg. And half cups of buttermilk. One.
guys so i just wanted to share um, a few things that i bought at tj maxx recently um, and then i'll go through how i'm actually gonna <laughs> utilize them in my kitchen later on but let me just show you it's just a few things just five things but i thought they were cute and obviously useful so i wanted to share with you guys that really quickly so the first things i got were these mason jars um they're very affordable so this one was four dollars i don't know if you can see that but this one has like a little chalk thing and then it gives you a piece of chalk to use as well but i'm going to use this for coffee um we drink coffee almost every day here and then we brew it ourselves so i think having like a seal tight jar would be really helpful and then i'll just put like a spoon or something in here and then to go along with that i got a little one like this it's not exactly the same because this one doesn't have like the the chalk thing but this one i am thinking of using for sugar because <laughs> we use sugar obviously for a coffee but also for like other things as well so if i put like a cute little spoon and then just have this for like easy access instead instead of keeping it in like those cardboard containers or like the paper containers that they come with um i thought this would be more useful and then moving on i bought this one tray because we literally didn't have any trays to bake like loaves in and i'm gonna make a banana bread today because we have some bananas going bad but i'll share with you guys how i make my banana bread today but i just bought this and this one was six dollars oh and then i forgot to mention that this was two dollars and fifty cents and then last couple of things i finally 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 bought a utensil um, cutlery organizer for our drawer this one says that it's expandable oh it's just like these pieces up top you can like expand out but i saw this at target something very similar at target and i believe it was like 25 dollars or something like that and this was only 15 dollars at tj maxx so definitely 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 if you're moving into a new place and you need like new stuff but you're on a budget check out tj maxx because they usually have the same exact things but way cheaper so this is very nice and it's like a nice size and i think it will fit in most drawers as well so check this out um, i'm actually super excited to put this together so i'll show you guys that as well and then my very last thing I'm very excited about and it's this utensil holder for like my spatulas and ladles and everything like that so I was gonna keep all of our utensils in the drawers but I saw this and I was like I'm gonna keep it on the counter <laughs> just because this matches my theme so much like how perfect is that I actually found one at first that that said the same exact thing except this was in white and i grabbed that at first and then i kept walking around and i think we found this in like the pillow section like somebody has pl had placed it down there and i looked down and i saw it and i was like we're getting that like it's literally my style so um oh yeah and then this was eight dollars which is a steal so um, that is it. It was very short, but I'll show you guys how I'm gonna Utilize this and show you how I kind of have organized my things right now This is a coffee that we usually drink. I really like this one, but I kind of like more of a dark roast I don't know if they make this in dark roast I don't know, but if you guys have any good coffee recommendations, let me know down below But so far I really like this one and usually when I go to Starbucks and I just want like a black coffee, this is usually what I get. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to pour this into here. Ooh, this is nice and cute. Oh, that's cute. And then I'm just going to write coffee. Or maybe I'll write the type of coffee it is. Maybe like eventually we'll have like different types of coffee. That would be really cool. And then here, obviously, I'm going to put the 
sugar and I'm sure it won't all fit. But I'm making banana bread today, so I'm sure that I'll use the rest of it. Keep for, for sugar. And then I'll take you guys over here and show you guys my drawer. So this is my thing and then I'll show you how messy our drawers are right now. Yeah, everything is just all messed up. So nice. Oh, that'll fit. We don't have enough stuff to fill that up. Just finished a lot of our utensils are still in the dishwasher but this is pretty much everything we have this looks nice and cute it doesn't fill up the whole drawer but that's fine um, I tried to expand it as far as I could but that was it and then this is how the utensil holder is looking really cute I know this thing is a mess gonna make my banana bread <laughs> But we still need to find like a cute bowl, like a wooden bowl. But that is gonna look really cute or I'm gonna have to find a different place for it because I don't wanna cover that decorative cu uh, cutting board. But yeah, that looks cute. I'm sure none of you guys really cared about that, but <laughs> I thought it was exciting. Um, now I'm gonna make some banana bread because you guys saw that these bananas need to be used up. So who else went through a phase of making a lot of banana bread when we were like the beginning of quarantine? Because I know that I did. I probably made like two rounds of banana bread a week. Like a week. And that's a lot. <laughs> so the beginning of quarantine was like a different lifetime ago. Like I feel like there were stages. There were like literal different stages of that. Like there was a stage where, um, what show was that? Love is Blind came out. And then there was a stage where Ozark came out. And then there was another stage where everyone was obsessed with charcuterie boards and everyone was doing puzzles. I feel like I definitely went through all of those different phases and it feels like they were all like month spans of those but literally it was like a week of that like i think there was a week where my siblings and i had a charcuterie board in a wine date night probably like three times in a week i'm not even kidding i'm not gonna lie though I really miss those times. I really miss that. And where I'm living in California, it's really bad right now. So even if there are things open, opening up, like there's restaurant seatings outdoors, um, I still don't feel comfortable going out. And I also want to be cautious and protect those who are more vulnerable to getting sick and dying from this virus so if you guys can please just stay home um i know that some people some essential workers have to be going out to work and thank you for that but if you don't have to go out please just stay home and wear a mask when you're out um, i was also thinking the other day that when this pandemic started i was 24. It was literally the week of my birthday when everything shut down. My birthday's on March 19th and everything shut down, I think, on like the 14th, March 14th. And so technically I was 24 when it started. I turned 25 a few days after and in a couple months I turned 26. Isn't that crazy? Like I, I spent my whole... 25th year of life in quarantine in the middle of a pandemic and I survived which is that's crazy
crazy. But one teaspoon and a third of that. Okay, so I didn't even realize that the battery died, but you guys <laughs> didn't miss much. Um, I just mixed all the flour. I creamed together the butter and the brown sugar. I forgot that I don't have a hand mixer, so I'm gonna have to whisk this by hand, but that's okay, it should be fine.